Well, it all started when the French and the British claimed the Ohio River Valley. And they both claimed it because they wanted to add more land to their settlement. And then this led to the French and Indian War, where the colonists and the British fought together. Now, it wasn't the colonists and the British army. It was the British army because the colonists considered themselves British. Now, the, the, the British won this war. So, England got all this new land all the way from the Mississippi River all the way to the Appalachian Mountains plus the 13 colonies that were already claimed by England. Now after a seven year war you would probably imagine that England would be in debt. Well if you thought that you'd be so you're so right because they were in debt. King George was probably upset as you could think because all this money was in England, and then seven years later, after the French Indian War, it was just gone, like poof. And it was also probably hard on England too, because their money was also gone. And the colonists thought, well, we have all this new land, as I said before, from the Mississippi River to the Appalachian Mountains. That they, are gonna, that they decided they were going to move west. Now, the Indians didn't like this idea. Well, in fact, they didn't even know about this idea. They thought, actually, that the colonists were attacking them. So, they thought, well, they are attacking us. We are attacking them. And that did not go well for the colonists, since... They kind of came out on surprise. Well, 2,000 colonists died because the Indians attacked. Which is actually for the Indians' protection. They thought that they were attacking. But as you remember me saying um, that England was in debt, well, that hadn't changed. So... King George came out with the Proclamation of 1763, which allowed no colonists to move west of the Appalachian Mountains. The colonists thought, well, you're all the way in England. You can't tell us what to do. I'm just going to move west. You can't stop me. You're like a sea away from us. So King George came with the Quartering Act after he heard news. He sent a whole bunch of British soldiers to keep the colonists under control and from moving west. And one of the worst parts was of the Quartering Act was that the colonists had to feed the British soldiers. They had to give them rides. And the colonists had to pretty much give them their house. Like they, they let them stay there all of this for free now the colonists hated this they hated it so much because i mean who wants a whole bunch of british soldiers just living at your house out of nowhere and after that the colonists decided well we're just going to be rude to you because that's just, we can do that because you're, you get all this stuff for free from us. We're going to treat you rudely. And now King George came out or came up with this idea of the Stamp Act because like you remember me saying, he, they, England was in a lot of debt. So he thought, let's Let's tax colonists. The Stamp Act was a tax on paper and stamps. Now, the colonists really, really hated that this Stamp Act was taxing them because of the debt. And they didn't think it was fair. So, they protested. 
and honestly I don't think what I put there is what the signs actually said but I'm pretty sure the no tax is correct because they didn't want to be taxed I mean who would and now the now King George heard about this protest of theirs and he said okay fine I'll repeal it so he repealed the stamp act and something very surprising that you probably wouldn't think would happen after King George repealed it is that the colonists were actually still mad and they took it out on a British soldier. We are getting to the Boston Massacre. So reinforcement came and they and then they heard shoot from a commander. But he really had said don't shoot. But he did got but five men died at the Boston Massacre. Now, it wasn't really a massacre because a massacre is when a whole bunch of people died, but it wasn't really fair that five men died. And after after the Boston Massacre, Paul Revere made an engraving that showed that the colonists were completely innocent and that it was all the British's fault. Or well, that was not true because technically the the colonists had started it by calling names and mocking the British soldier. Now then the parliament repealed every tax except the tea tax which angered the colonists very much they protested and and were mad at the parliament and when they protested they thought it was taxation without representation which is a very a very great line that you should think about it's they're taxing them without representation so just taxing them out of nowhere now they thought it has gone way too far so the colonists dressed up as indians and went on a british ship and dumped a whole bunch of tea into the boston harbor it was called the boston tea party now King George heard about that and he was so angry. He came up with the cohesive acts. And the colonists actually thought, well, these are not the cohesive acts. They are the intolerable acts. They could not tolerate them at all. And then and then King George came, said, "We, are, for one cohesive act, we are closing the Boston Harbor, and a, a lot of people in Boston lost their jobs. And then, soon afterwards, there was this sign that said, send a representative, representative to Pennsylvania to the Independence Hall to discuss." about the British and then they were the rebels.